Welcome to River City Tuning Hearth. My name is Ron Muskowski. I'm the owner. I would like to go through uh, the elements of cleaning and inspecting, sweeping and inspecting a fireplace, a wood grain fireplace. Um, a little bit about some of the tools that we bring in and some of the processes that we have. First and foremost, we come in with tarps. We lay tarps down in your house. You can see that there's a black tarp here with a nice clean white one underneath it. And that's to ensure that anything that we do in the firebox is basically contained within this area and doesn't leave. We have a big vacuum here. If somebody comes in and cleans your fireplace and brings in a little shop back, that's probably not adequate enough to contain the soot in the house. We bring a big vacuum in with three motors that uh, filters the air down to three microns to ensure that nothing leaves this area so you won't have any soot in your house. The other tool of the trade is a what we call a camera. And essentially this is for the technician to go through your damper system and go up into the flue and then it gives them the opportunity to look around and see that the chimney system to ensure that everything's in place, there's no breaches or cracks. It also gives them a, a bird's eye view of the creosote in the system to see the different levels and we'll get to that a little later about the levels of creosote. The, uh, <clears throat> the fireplace in this particular case does not have a mantle. We'll be running into situations where the fireplace has a mantle here. So depending on the mantle height, before we come out, we ask the homeowner to take the parts off the mantle just so that nothing falls off when we're sweeping the chimney. The, uh, the other thing that we have here is we have a hearth. And it's always nice, you can sit on this hearth and some people like to feel the heat from the fireplace. So this is a raised hearth here. The uh, other parts of the fireplace that you'll run into most times is you'll find a damper system that engages the chimney where you can shut it and open it. And uh, when you're burning wood and during the operation, um, you want to make sure that that damper is fully open so you can vent everything to the atmosphere. So uh, what we do at this particular point, we do uh, what we call an inspection, a level one inspection. We look for the clearances, make sure that there's plenty of hearth in case a little ember would pop out. Uh, you look the clearances to the sides because most of the time you want, you want to keep clearances from combustibles around the fireplace. Uh, we also, when we inspect, we look at the fireplace when we come in. If we see soot on the facial, sometimes that's an indication of uh, an improper draft. It may be something with the chimney not being clean, not being able to vent everything to the atmosphere. It may be the customer forgot to open the damper. We've run into that a few times. But any time that we see soot on the facial, we become particularly interested in what happened there because everything that you do in this firebox in regards to combustion should go to the atmosphere and should not come in the house. So our technicians are trained to help solve those kinds of issues as well. Uh, the different levels of creosote that come through here, there's three different levels that we look at. Level one being just kind of a puffy, brushable creosote that you can get out with a little poly brush like this. Level two is more of a glazed creosote which uh, is like a thin glaze that goes down the chimney. And then level three is a heavy glaze. And that's when we become particularly interested in what's causing that. That often ends up causing a chimney fire. So when we see that, we, we want to become particularly interested in what's causing that level of creosote in the system. The uh, inspection and the cleaning, when it's all said and done, we'll take pictures and photographs of anything that we see when we're on the roof. Uh, in this particular case, some technicians will clean the chimney from the bottom up, or we may go from the top down. It just depends on the house. The, uh, when we're completely done, we'll get photographs of anything that we see. We'll inspect the flashing, the brick and mortar, uh, the crown. Uh, we'll look at the chimney cap. So we'll basically go through a thorough inspection, and then at the end, we'll give a comprehensive report to the customer in regards to the condition of the fireplace. The National Fireplace Protection Agency recommends that for solid fuel that you have it cleaned and inspected annually. And uh, it's like an ounce prevention with pound of cure. You're basically trying to prevent the sudden event which can do damage to your fireplace. So with that, I hope you call on River City Chimney and Hearth to come and do your chimney inspections in the future. Thank you.